<laughs> Alright, so let's do this. Bam, bam. Jeez, try not to wreck the place. <laughs> no reason for alarm. I just needed to get this locker open. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Kobe Scroby, and welcome to Whispers of a Machine. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments. And you can also subscribe to the channel for possibly more Whispers of a Machine, but definitely other videos. Now, this game was published by Raw Fury, who is the same publisher as Kingdom and Kingdom New Lands and Kingdom Two Crowns, which is one of my favorite games. But it is made by Cliff Top developers or Cliff Top something something and something something. I don't I don't remember. Anyway, I was looking for something something the next thing to play. And I came across this one. I believe I picked it up on sale. I'm pretty sure I did because I don't really buy anything unless it's on sale anymore. And I was watching the trailers and it's a point and click style, kind of like a like an old school King's Quest type. It looked a little bit like that, I suppose, not exactly like that, but at the same time, it's a futuristic, augmented machine person type game at the same time. Anyway, uh, I'm looking at this on a window on my computer, and I have not been able to find any way to make it full screen, so I hope that I can zoom during editing down to the right size, but I guess we'll find out. So let's check this out. So, what's with the gloomy look? Left someone dear behind? Uh, yeah. You could say that. Been there. So, Nord Sunday, you better buckle up. We've got some nasty weather coming in. I heard. Sadly, caring about storms is a luxury people in my line of work are rarely afforded. Oh, and what kind of work is that? Special agent. Violent crimes. Central Bureau. Well, shit. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Whispers of a machine. So if you guys have been around the channel for any amount of time, you know that I am a sucker for these point-and-click type games. Uh, so I just had to play it. And as long as I'm playing it, I thought I would bring you guys along with me. You there. This is a restricted crime scene. Eddie's Constable, Special Agent, England? Is that England here? Hi there, I'm Vera, your, your superior. Briefed you about me, right? Vera England, Central Bureau. Vera England, Central Bureau. Oh, you're Agent England. Sorry for shouting at you. I'm Gabriel. Apology accepted. Now brief me, please. Certainly, ma'am. The victim is Carl Oscarson, age 33. Stabbed to death by an unknown assailant. He worked here as a carpenter and was found early this morning by a co-worker who was sitting over there by the window. Got it. Vera can advance three distinct personality traits. Empathetic, which is up here. Assertive, which is over here. And analytical, which is over here. And here is Vera, the white speck in the middle. Your choices will influence all three, affecting the course of the story and the tools at your disposal. Advancing one personality trait always weakens the other two, so make your choices carefully. So at the beginning of this, it did say all choices are final, so choose wisely. So it's probably going to be a lot of choices in this game. Um. And, it, and it's kind of like a detective uh, murder mystery type thing, too, I believe. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. We're going to see. So, all right, let's check this out. Sorry about the state of the crime scene. We're not used to this sort of thing. I get it. But I got to tell you that this isn't up to par. Follow my lead, all right? Evidently, this entire room should have been evacuated... Staying clear of the body would have decreased the risk of contaminating evidence. Oh, don't worry about it, Constable. This looks, uh, quite typical. 
Let's see. Yeah. I get it, but I gotta tell you that this isn't up to par. Follow my lead, all right? Will do, ma'am. Happy to assist in any way you need. Good to hear. Now, give me a second while I examine the body. Sure, I'll be here. All right. This choice has amplified Vera's assertive side. Oh! There will be many instances like this strengthening one personality trait at the expense of the other two. So, is this where you use your x-ray vision? My what? Come on, you have to be aware of the rumors. How agents like you are supposed to be equipped with some kind of advanced cybernetics? So, it doesn't tell me which choice is which. Uh, let's just say I'm good at what I do. We'll leave it at that. The Central Bureau has a strict no-comment policy on those types of inquiries. So... Oh, man. I'd love to talk about it, Gabriel, but I'd be breaking the rules. Sorry. I'm thinking that this is the empathy one? I'd love to talk about that, Gabriel, but I'd be breaking the rules. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I mean, I might as well be nice to the guy, right? Use the left mouse button to walk in and to walk and interact with objects. Spacebar slash tab hold display interactable z in the room. Click once on an inventory item to examine it or drag and drop it to combine it with other things. Okay, so let's do spacebar. Okay. Forensic scan, biometric scan, muscle boost. Okay. Corpse? Alright, we've got multiple knife-sized stab wounds to the chest. I don't see a murder weapon, so I take it none was found at the scene? That's right. All knives and sharp tools in the building have been accounted for, too. It looks like the victim was attacked directly from the front. I don't see any major defense wounds, so this was either a surprise attack, or the victim knew the perpetrator. What about any potential suspects, Constable? Did Carl have enemies? None as far as we know. He seemed to be well liked among the guys here, but the man who found him might know more. There was a photo in his chest pocket. In the lower right corner are your augmentations toggled with a single mouse click. Experiment with your augs to learn how they work. Additional tutorials will appear when needed. Later on, you will unlock different augs depending on how you have shaped Vera's personality. Okay. So these are my augs. This is my inventory. Handbook, or handbook. Handgun, notebook, photo, bloody photo. All right. My picture of Alex. <sighs> I miss him. Okay. My picture of Alex. I can't. My picture of actually look at it. It's a bloody photograph of Carl and a young woman. Taken fairly recently by the look of it. He's holding hands with the woman, but I can't discern her face. Too much damage to the photo. She's wearing a brass necklace. Could be relevant. Your notebook contains two sections. Notes and people. You can click the arrow in the corner to toggle between them. Notes and people. Arrow in the corner? Like that one? You can show inventory items during dialogue by simply clicking on them. The reason I'm here. I need to gather as much evidence as possible and try to get some kind of lead on the killer. Carl Oskerson, murdered at age 33. He had a job as a carpenter in the Nordson workshop hall. Gabriel seems like a straight shooter. A competent, no bullshit cop. Alright, that's that guy? I forgot already. Alright. My service pistol. It fires conventional projectiles using magnetic propulsion. It's loaded with 600 rounds of compressed alloy ammunition. The battery is the limiting factor, lasting for about 80 shots in quick succession. Whoa. So, magnetic acceleration? That's like a railgun, basically, right? Isn't that the definition of a railgun? I could be wrong, but I think I might be right. Anyway. I already examined him. Okay. Let's do a forensic scanner on him. Drag and drop the scanner to move it around. Anomalies viewed through the lens will light up in a bright color. 
The scanner is now in smart scan mode where forensic anomalies are detected from the surrounding environment. Okay. Aha. Deceased male, age 32, plus and minus four years. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Blood type B. Estimated time of death, T, minus six hours. DNA prints and blade shape added to data vault. Collected scanner samples will be added to your data vault and can be attached to the scanner for a targeted search. Unlike the smart scan, samples will allow detection in areas with a lot of contamination, such as picking up specific fingerprints in a room full of prints. Keep in mind that you won't find any new samples this way, so remember to use your smart scan mode too. Okay. How about this guy? Nothing? Human blood, type B, DNA mismatch from current carrier Post pattern. Postmortem, huh? That would suggest that he likely only touched the body after death. Pattern indicates postmortem smear two plus hours. So he found this guy f f about four hours after he was killed. So how did how did it say I switch? Oh wait 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 wait. Smart scan Carl's bio. So it's right there, and it's right there. Okay. Blade shape? Matching data pattern. Okay. Blade shape. That guy has no blade shape. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, I think we're done with that. What's this biometric analyzer? Your biometric analyzer will automatically lock on to nearby targets. You can also click the lock icon on your target to force the analyzer to stay connected. Lastly, the biometric output may display emotional anomalies during dialogue. Click on them to make them known to Vera before they disappear. Okay. So, all right, what else can we look at here? Corpse, Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah? What can you tell me about yourself? Not much to tell. I grew up here in Nordson, and all my family is here. The commissary is my uncle. He's always been the one who encouraged me to become a policeman. So, how long have you been a cop? Eight years now. Wow, eight? Must have started young. Yep, started as a trainee at age 16. Hmm, I see. I guess that's it. Okay, that's all I need for now. Very well, Agent. Whoa, oh, there's my... Oh. Oh, okay, so I'm here. So I'm a little bit empathetic and a little bit assertive. So I need to go analytical. Path of Frigg. Path of Terror, Path of Bald, Balder. No, I guess we don't want to go all of them because that won't get us anywhere. We need to move like here, here, or here, I feel like. So, all right. Okay. A row of personal lockers for the workers here. Oh, Carl's locker. Okay, does this guy know? Gabriel. Yeah? Hey, do you know which one of these lockers belongs to the victim? I don't know. Try asking that guy over there. Alright. Okay, that's all I need for now. Very well, Agent. So, two dormitory, two Nordsund. Old soda fountain. Oop. Whoops. Looks pre-collapse. Basically a glorified corner lamp. Looks pre-collapse. Basically a glorified corner lamp. There's a coin slot on the side with a coin stuck in it. I can probably pull it out using some extra strength. Ah, okay. We got extra strength right there. Muscle boost increases your strength for a limited time. Interact with the target before the timer runs out, or we'll need time to recharge. 
Oh, the time's running out. See it going down? Got the coin. Okay. Oh man, that recharges fast. It's an old pre-collapse coin. No one would accept it as payment today. Huh. Looks pre-collapse. Basically a glorified. So should I try to It's an old pre I'll hold on to it for now. Okay. All right, lockers. A row of personal lockers for the workers here. Oh, we Not have... sure which one belongs to Carl. Okay, we have to find out. All right, let's go talk to this guy. Be quick and to the point. He doesn't look happy to be here. Take your time to console the clear distressed man. Begin by asking about his bloody hands. Looks can deceive. If he's guilty, stalling would give him a chance to come up with a lie. Eh, it doesn't seem like he's guilty. Let's console him. Hey there. What's your name? I'm Alfred. Carl's friend. Well, we were friends. Now he's gone. Are you doing okay? Do you have somebody to talk to after this? I'll be okay. Please just ask your questions so I can go home. Hey, do you know which one of these lockers belongs to Carl? Uh, yeah, it's number two. Uh, second from the left. Okay, I'll check it out. Is there an extra key for it somewhere? I don't think so. As far as I know, Carl had the only one. Why don't you tell me about what happened this morning? Okay. I get up early from my morning smoke. I keep my smokes in my locker, so I came in here. I saw Carl lying in the corner. It was still kind of dark, so I thought he'd fallen and hurt himself. I ran over to him. That's when I noticed the blood, and I guess I was kind of in shock, so I tried to stop the bleeding, but then I felt how cold he was. I yelled for help. The guys came running, and then Josef, our foreman, sent someone to go get the police. Okay. When was the last time you saw Carl alive? Late last night, or around midnight. He stayed up with us playing cards, which is unusual. Unusual? How so? Well, it was rare for Carl to stick around in the evenings. He usually went out by himself. Oh. Do you know where he used to go? No idea. He didn't talk much about that. Maybe he went to the canteen to meet some friends. Anyway, Carl seemed a bit anxious last night. He seemed distracted. Got it. Thanks for the info. Can you tell me a little bit about Carl? Sure. I've known him since I started working here four years ago. We instantly hit it off. He, he had a great sense of humor. He used to be so cheerful, you know? Always kidding around, always with a smile on his face. But then about a year ago, something happened. He became absent-minded and humorless. I know people can change, but this came seemingly from nowhere. Huh. What do you think caused the shift? No idea. Whatever it was, he wouldn't confide in me about it. What's your opinion on the policeman over there? Gabriel is a good man. He's been a cop in Nordsund for quite a while. All right. I guess that's all we got for that's you. That's enough questions for now. Okay. A few more questions? If <laughs> I was going to say you can go. That's enough questions for now. But I guess you can't okay. go. About this. Have a look at this picture. Do you know who the woman is? Uh, yeah, that's just some old girlfriend of Carl's from ages ago. Is that so? It doesn't look that old. At least Carl looks about the same. Guess the guy aged well. Any other questions? Hmm. Is it a recent picture? Did he, a year ago, did he get a call from an old girlfriend that says he's got a kid or something? I don't know. I don't need to show him that. No, that's private. I won't show that to just anyone. I don't need to write down anything about him. No reason to show him my sidearm. Do I need to write anything down about this? I've already got a notebook entry about the murder. Okay. Well, let's um let's open up Carl's locker here. So this right here, I couldn't figure out what it was. At first I thought it was a drawing of a light bulb. <laughs> And then I thought it was like a ping pong paddle and then I when I was talking to him I realized that it's a hole a tear in the Like leather or whatever this is made out of and it's like stitched up down here at the bottom 
<laughs> All right, so let's do this. Bam, bam. Jeez, try not to wreck the place. <laughs> no reason for alarm. I just needed to get this locker open. There was a piece of paper in one of the inner pockets. The note looks like it was written by a woman. It reads, Hi, Doofus. You're registered now. <laughs> Go try it out. Remember how you totally flipped the day I first came to Nordsund? Kisses. Okay. Boots? A pair of large boots with dirt under them. Ew. Uh... Oh, look at that. Matching data DNA. Oh, yeah, that's because it's his coat, right? That's it? Ah, fine. Smart scan. Oh, what's that? Soil contains traces of rare flora. Saffron crocus. Crocus sativus. Boot print added to vault data. Okay. So, boot print. Huh. I'm guessing we're going to have to look at this outside. Can we smart scan anything else around here? No? Okay. Um, biometric analyzer. Crap, man. I didn't do that. All right. Wait. Let's come back over here. Let's biometric analyze that guy. A few more questions, if I may. Anxious. Saffron. Do you know anything about saffron plants? Nope. I know we grow them in Nordson, but that's it. Is that it? Crap. That's enough questions for now. Okay. All right, let's come over here. Gabriel. Yeah? Uh... Do you know anything about saffron plants? I know we grow them here in Nordsund, but I'm not sure exactly where. We have vegetables all over. Hmm. Okay, that's all I need for now. Very well, Agent. That action doesn't seem... I found this in Carl's coat. What do you make of it? Not sure. But it's a bit strange that the person who wrote this couldn't just tell him face to face. Maybe they didn't want to risk being seen together. Or the note's author needed to leave in a hurry. Yeah, could be. Hmm. Do you know who wrote this note to Carl? Afraid not. I don't recognize the handwriting. Well, that's just great. What about this one? Did I do that? Do you know who the woman in this photo is? Too hard to tell. Sorry. Alright, can I do this? Can I take this thing and scan the photo? No. Well, crap, man. I kind of feel like I'm done here. I already examined him. Gabriel. Yeah? Okay, that's all I need for now. Very well, Agent. To the dormitory. Let's try that. Hey, I'm gonna go check out the dorm. Where's Carl's bed? Turn left and then go straight. I left the light on so it'd be easy for you to find. Gotcha. Be right back. Okay. The locker room bag. Dirty laundry. Smells like machine oil. Ew. Both beds look recently used. Huh. Odd place for a ventilation duct. That's because there's hiding something in there. Pens and paper. Nothing out of the ordinary. Hmm. 
clean clothes and sheets. Nothing interesting. Okay. Nothing? Dude. Okay. How about... Put that away. Come over here. Turn this on. I don't think extra strength helps there. Ah. Uh, I wanted to, like, rip it apart. Okay. Uh, I don't see anything at all. Like, really? Not even... Boot print... Blueprint? Nothing? Blade shape? Nothing? Carl's bio? Oh. Okay, matching data fingerprints. DNA. Fingerprints on that. Drawer. Aha! Huh. There are a lot of prints around a panel on the air duct. Yeah, I told you. He's hiding stuff in there. Did you not listen? <laughs> Alright. Um, let's put that away. Let's open the this up. The panel is screwed on tight. I'll need some way of getting it loose. Oh, what? Like, uh, like this? I already tried? Sure, I could try to use brute force, but I'd risk damaging what's inside. <sighs> It's an old pre-collapse coin. Can I do this? <laughs> no way. I've played too many of these point-and-click games. There was a small key hidden inside the duct. Ah. So the key probably opens that? I don't see any keyholes on this desk. Okay. What's in the bag? I forgot. I've looked there already. Nothing. Must be nothing. Uh, okay. Is that the key for his... Locker? Like, is that all we got out of this whole thing? I already searched that. I've looked there already. Hmm. Okay. Nah, it's a different type of lock. Uh. That combination makes no sense. Alright, let's talk to these guys again. Let's turn this on. Let's go over here. A few more questions, if I may. Oh, what? I can't ask him about that stuff? About the key? Um. Any idea of what this key opens? Oh. Nope, haven't seen a key like that before. That's how we do it. That's it then. That's enough questions for now. Okay. Can I do this? Crap, man. Alright. Gabriel. Yeah? Any idea of what this key could open? Nope. But it looks small. Some kind of drawer? Maybe a filing cabinet or something? Well, fine. Okay, that's all I need for now. Very well, Agent. A row of personal lockers for the workers here. The second one from the left belongs to Carl. Can I open the rest of them? A row of per- I've already done that. Fine. All right, let's go outside. Not yet. I think the witness knows more than he's letting on. Hmm. Any I- Nope. Do you know- Afraid not. I don't want to- Are you sure about this woman? Yes, I told you. Old girlfriend from before. Oh, anomaly detected. Bam. Logically explain that he has nothing to gain by being deceptive. Be stern about it. He's clearly being dishonest. Try to appeal to his conscience. Hmm. Look, I got this job because I have great instincts. And I know that you were lying to me. Maybe you're doing it for a good reason. Or to protect someone. But all I want is to catch Carl's murderer. If you had nothing to do with what happened, you need to come clean now. For both of your sakes. 
I'm, I'm sorry. I gave him a promise. Well, the lady in the photo, Carla's still seeing her. Well, was, I suppose. Why wouldn't you tell me that from the beginning? It was a secret. Carl said they would both get in trouble if anybody knew. Why would they get into trouble? An affair? I didn't ask, but yeah, it could be. All right. Tell me everything you know about this woman. Carl said she lived somewhere north of town, but that's all I know. Okay, I believe you. I think I'm almost done here. I should just talk to Gabriel before I go. Okay. That was it. The only thing I had to do was click on this for a second time. That's enough <laughs> questions for now. Okay. So I'm guessing that this here, this lock, so like I could lock this on this guy and walk away from him. So I could see how he would react to me talking to this guy, but I don't need to do that right now. Talk, please. Hey, I think I'm done here. Oh, okay. Mind sharing your findings? It seems like the murder could be tied to a secret relationship Carl had with a woman. But I'm leaving all options open. Sounds reasonable. Do you have a lead to follow up on? Yes. I have reason to believe that Carl recently passed through an area with saffron plants somewhere in Nordsund. Maybe I can correlate that with Carl's movements to the north of town when seeing that woman. Good. Meanwhile, we'll transport the body to the morgue and have an autopsy performed as soon as possible. Do you want us to keep the area sealed off? No need. I'm done here and won't come back. You can let the men get back to work. Very well. I'll let them know. By the way, how do I get to the police station from here? Just head straight east outside. You'll see it. Got it. See you later. Man, she sure is sure of herself. I'm done here and won't come back. All right, you guys, I'll tell you what, that is the beginning of this game. We're out of time for today. Uh, it was seemed like the first section. Uh, I am so far interested in it, and I'm definitely going to keep playing it. Um, this stuff here, it's definitely interesting. It's not complicated enough that you can't figure it out. Uh, but at the same time, it's cool. It's point and click. It's old school type pixely style. I like it. Um, and I'm going to play some more of it. So, definitely, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more Whispers of a Machine and other videos. So, thanks again for coming to hang out with me today, you guys. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Later, guys.